Hi friends, welcome to today's daily lead code challenge. Binary tree right side view. Okay, let's read the question. Given the root of a binary tree, imagine yourself standing on the right side. Standing on the right side. Written the values of the nodes. You can see from top to bottom. Okay, you have to return 1, 3, 4. We are standing here and we are watching this. We are watching these notes and we have to return the values 1, 3, 4. Okay. Okay, friends. Let us understand this problem through an algorithm. First, we will traverse this as a level. Uh, we use a level order traversal. First, we will traverse in level 1. It will be only 1 as it is a root node. And in level 2, we got value as 3. In level 1, we got value as 1, which is at right side of right side to the viewer. Okay, from level 3, we have got an answer as 4. So we need to return from top to bottom, that is 1, 3, 4. Uh, in level order traversal, we usually use a queue and try to output uh, the values and pop according to the condition. Now we'll start coding. Okay friends, let's start our code. We'll initialize a list. Uh, list of integers actually. List of integers and we name it as a result. New uh, our list, okay. Our list. And we also initialize a queue capital Q U E tree notes the type will be tree notes to e new link list uh, now first we need to check for first condition if root doesn't have any values I mean root contains nothing then we need to return nothing that means now there is nothing in result so return will be given as output now now we need to offer q this q will be offered with some values q will be offered with values of root all the all the values of root will be offered into q offer is nothing but just like a add function only add function returns true and throws an exception if it can't add an element but uh, offer function will return false if it can't add an element uh, only slight change in this we'll use it according to the situation while we'll traverse it we'll traverse the queue uh, until the size of the queue is empty uh, until the size of the queue is zero that is queue doesn't contain any element dot is empty if q is empty, we can terminate the loop. We'll initialize another variable size to store the value of q for every iteration. q dot sorry q dot size for every iteration size of q will be initialized to variable size. Now we need to traverse from 0 to size of a q uh, if i will be 0 if i equal to 0 that means we didn't got any if i equal to 0 then we need to add if i equal to 0 then we need to add a element Okay, first we need to remove the element and initialize to a variable and that variable will be added to our array list. Okay, now we'll initialize tree node as current will be equal to uh, we can use remove or pull or wish u dot pull pull will remove the value and assign it to current q dot pull if i equal to 0 result dot add current dot current dot well 
okay if i is not equal to zero and if current dot current dot right is not equal to null then we need to offer q with current dot right value same situation for left just copy paste it and change where it's right to left left that's it i think it will work q dot if it is empty then we need to assign the variable okay now we'll check i will check our test cases integers it's not integers it's integer okay we'll try out for all test cases it's done now we'll submit okay not bad Okay, thank you.